friends as a science foundation delhi represent the series on environmental science today we will be discussing about hydrosphere so as all of you knows 97% of the water on earth is oceanic water or saline water mostly 3% of the total water is fresh water out of these 3% fresh water the order followed on the water body present on earth the maximum water lies in glaciers and ice caps followed by ground water followed by inland lakes followed by soil moisture soil moisture is 0.005% followed by atmosphere which is 0.001% followed by rivers which is 0.0001% so you can see in the given pie chart in our literature that hydrosphere is around 71% of the total area on earth and lithosphere is around 29% then if we talk about the area of the earth there is something around 5 into 10 to the power 8 cm square now coming to the oceans volume wise if we order the ocean then volume wise the largest one is pacific ocean followed by atlantic followed by indian ocean followed by arctic in northern hemisphere 60% which is 3 by 5 portion is generally constituted by land which is shown in the pie chart also while in the southern hemisphere 80% of the portion is constituted by water however 57% of the total oceanic water lies into southern hemisphere then if we see southern hemisphere distribution of oceanic water that in southern hemisphere 80% of the water is there and 20% of the land and if we see the distribution of oceanic water on overall earth then 43% of the oceanic water lies in northern hemisphere and rest of the 57% lies in southern hemisphere now we will be talking something about the structure of ocean if we divide the ocean into various part as shown in our diagram we have divided the ocean into four parts first which is continental shelf second which is continental slope third which is continental rise and fourth which is deep sea floor now we will be talking about the details of these things one by one so on y axis we have put up the things like the vertical distance or the depth of the ocean and on the x axis we have put up the horizontal distance as we can see we start traveling from the sea shore and if we see the distance from the land or shore so it has been divided in like first 300 km which are given to continental shelf the next 20 km it is a part of continental slope and overall become 320 km then it goes up to 850 km and on the vertical axis the first line which is there the dotted line represent 200 m and the total distance is 3500 m now we will be de dealing with the detail of all these four part which is continental shelf continental slope continental rise and deep sea floor so the first part which was continental shelf so it refers to the portion of continent that submerged in ocean in past so continental shelf is nothing it is that portion of continent that submerged in ocean in past continental shelf we see if we see the depth is 0 to 200 meter which is shown in the diagram and width is up to 300 km which you can see the distance from the land or shore up to 300 km now coming to the second part which is continental slope the continental slope is approximately 4 degrees or can vary up to 25 degree 
if we see the depth of continental slope, it is 200 to 3,500 meter. So continental slope, the depth is 200 to 3,500 meter. And width, if you see, it's 20 kilometer continental slope, which is shown in the picture. Now coming to the continental rise, the third part on the structure of ocean. So continental rise is nothing due to the debris and sedimentation deposition. It is called as continental rise. Sorry. At the base of continental slope, the oceanic crust is now curved or covered with sediments brought by turbidity currents. This continental rise varies in width and thickness and is observed thickest in Bay of Bengal. So Bay of Bengal having the thickest continental rise. Now we can see one more fact that Ganga and Brahmaputra add sediment load in Bay of Bengal and Brahmaputra is a river which carries maximum sediment load. The fourth part of the structure of ocean is deep sea floor which itself having many sub parts which we will be talking one by one. Deep sea floor Various features are present in deep sea floor which are namely A. Oceanic ridges B. Abyssal hills C. Abyssal plain D. Sea mount E. Gaiots F. Trenches and then G. Submarine canyons We will be talking about these features of deep sea floor one by one and remember this thing this is a very important topic deep sea floor each and every year we see examiner picking a question from deep sea floor so be careful about it oceanic ridges if we talk about as shown in the diagram these are linear chain of mountains submerged under oceanic water some mountains can be classified as hydrothermal vent called as HTV and these vents smokes out mineral laden black water vapors so that's why they are also called as black smokers sometime these minerals comes from rocks when leaching hot water passes through the rocks then quite obvious the black color smoke is observed and these minerals are majorly sulfite mineral which come out of these vents and as shown, shown in the picture these vents are also called as smoking pipe and the temperature in these vents may go up to 180 degrees celsius then the second feature is abyssal hills these are the hills present on sea floor with a height less than one kilometer now coming to the abyssal plain these are the regions beyond 850 kilometer as you can see in the diagram shown in the structure of ocean so the distance from the land or shore beyond 850 kilometer is under a abyssal plain and up to 850 kilometer the sea region can also be called as continental margin so from 0 to 850 kilometer we call it as continental margin and beyond 850 kilometer it is called as a abyssal plain now coming to the next feature which is sea mounts so these are the hills with an altitude more than one kilometer and this question has been asked two times in UGC. So sea mounts with an altitude of more than one kilometer. Now coming to the coyotes. Many of the sea mounts are flat and topped and extremely steep sided. They are called as or named as coyotes. Now coming to a very important topic, trenches. So trenches are the region deeper than 600 meter or 6 km and they are found at the base of continental slope. They are found by converging of oceanic plates and the deepest place on earth is Marina Trench which is 11.2 km from the sea surface. And you can see the diagram shown for the trench. Trench is in a V shape and convex portion 
generally face towards water and the concave peak towards the base in the case of trench. Now coming to the submarine canyons. These canyons are present on continental shelf and slopes and terminate into deep sea as a fan-shaped sediment load. So dear friends remember though this part is not very important but you have to remember the definitions about with the minor details. So this was structure of ocean presented by ASS Science Foundation. Hope you enjoy the lecture today. Thank you.